this? Yeah, something like this. They're gonna do it. <laughs> Hi guys. So today uh, we are going to bigger clinic. That's actually 40 minutes away from where we are right now. So up until now, I received one corticosteroid shot. I think that was like seven days ago. And I think it, it definitely had effect, especially during the day. Uh, but during the night, some nights are bearable, some nights are very painful, like yesterday one. And uh, the other shots I'm getting, they're for inflammation and for pain management. They help the day when I get them and then maybe the next day. But as gradually as it wears off, then it's, um, it's getting more and more painful. The pain during the day is uh, okay because I can go around, I can sit normally, I can do pretty much everything. But I think I, if I do that, then kind of anger my spine more. Then during the night it becomes really painful. But the thing is the hips are trying to compensate for the back pain. So they're kind of tilted, they're not in the same a level so one side is a bit up and one side is a bit lower and I managed to kind of put my um, upper back straight up but my lower back doesn't cooperate because of the hips that's why my husband decided to bring me to the next best thing after a corticosteroid shot uh, it's a nerve blocking uh, injection uh, it's a spine nerve blocking injection, something like that. So spine nerve blocking injection. And uh, apparently the procedure should be quick. They're just gonna talk to us, see, learn more about my injury. They use the ultrasound uh, when they do that. So they know exactly where they're doing it. So I do have a fear of needle in general. And especially as the bigger the needle, the bigger my fear. I didn't Google to see how big this needle is because it said online is it so usually people describe that as a like mild discomfort, not like anything extremely painful. Usually it's pretty fast. They inject you, they put the liquid in, and then they take me out. Let's hope it goes well and it actually helps. Thank you very much for telling us that because we actually didn't know. So let's see how it goes today. We'll keep you posted. And maybe one day this helps someone like me and wait for the worst to happen. So this is my first time. We are going to the hospital this about 40 minutes away. So like a mid distance driving with a car. I'm trying to not crash somewhere. No, you're doing really well. I haven't drove much in my life. Anyway, so like I'm he trying to get a, princess. yeah, I was. And I'm trying He's to get some head practice head. in. I'm a bit nervous. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something always when I'm driving. Because you're an overthinker, so you're Yeah, I definitely am. I, I will always be the passenger person <laughs> if I have a chance. Uh, one thing is, uh, my wife is a much better driver than I am, but uh, we're in South Korea, so she doesn't have a license yet. Yeah, like, just for the reference, she, she rides like a ghost rider. As for me, I drive more like a grandma. His way of driving is much better like he's absolutely kind of chill when he drives he's completely focused in the road on the other hand i'm just enjoying the feel like i'm behind the wheel i'm driving yeah and i blast the music so one more thing that i think it's worth of mentioning is the very good health system that exists in korea and it's actually very affordable I literally just arrived and we ended up in a hospital. For me, things that maybe in Serbia would cost around $100, I pay them here like what, $20, $30? In Thailand, we were surprised when one, once we went to the hospital, Jun had some issue with his foot actually. 
after Muay Thai session, he hit the metal, not the soft, cushiony spot of the, the thing he was supposed to hit. So his legs was swollen. And we went to the hospital and it actually cost around... 8,000 baht. 8,000 baht, which is like $200, roughly. It might be a little more than that. I said to, to Jen, if this was meant to be for me to have this, <laughs> this gishi, I think Korea is the perfect place for it because doctors are great. Staff as well that works in hospitals are really, really nice, and you don't have like lines that you have to wait and wait and wait. Because I remember when I was in Serbia, the first time when this happened to me, I was waiting and waiting and waiting with this pain <laughs> that I had. So I'm really actually surprised uh, positively about the how things work here in our healthcare system. So yeah, of Korea just keep it up. The view here is. Mesmerizing. Mesmerizing. How's the pain level? <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see. Yeah, something like this. We're gonna do it. <laughs> if someone tells you this is mildly uncomfortable, that's a lie. And I will tell you why it's a lie. First of all, all the people that were there, they were amazing. And the doctor was amazing, and all of them were super polite, super nice. I'm very grateful for them. But, if we talk about the procedure. <laughs> but the mild comfort that they're talking about is when they inject you. The person that injected me, I, I didn't, I literally didn't feel it. I just felt something entered after, if that makes sense. So that part was, I was like, okay, maybe this is the mild discomfort that we're talking about. <laughs> but no one prepares you for what comes after. So they have this big thing, I guess, something like an x-ray, and they're trying to scan where they should inject it, right? When they did it the first time, I cannot explain to you. Like, I was so unprepared that the pain was so sudden. It burns, it hurts. It, I feel like my whole leg shrinked. <laughs> it cramped. It went all the way, like the length of your nerve, that's the length, the, all the length you're gonna feel the pain. Like head to toe? I felt that. There was another one, and that was even more painful. I was just grabbing the, the table because he couldn't be next to me because they were wearing the protective gowns. I'm honestly glad I wasn't there. It was an experience that I would uh, not want to. Uh, do again. Are you ready to do it again uh, in three days? I'm not doing that again in three days. So stop uh, trying well, to scare why, me. Uh, like, why do you think we're going coming back on Tuesday? Because he wants to check on me. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that was my experience with it. I will keep you posted if it actually like helps and how it feels after. And they say I can feel lethargic today. This pain from the nerve can last for a day or two. He said not to exercise at all, not to stretch, not to do anything. So once when I get better, we will actually probably do a video because June is very good at, at, at it. All those exercises I'm going to do anyways um, after the recovery to kind of bring back the movement to my body. <laughs> now our plan is to go uh, to get a coffee or a tea. Oh, are we? I didn't know we are. Don't marry someone who's going to roast you 24 7. Okay, marry someone nice. Do you want to go to Starbucks? Mm. Or do you want to go to the, the, the Paris one? I like Paris one. Okay. There is a very cute, small, like local coffee shop that the uh, team is Paris. The coffee owner is uh, super sweet. He makes very nice drinks. Mm. So we're gonna go there. It reminds me of one back home in Serbia. I'll try to find a picture so we can insert it. Did I see it? 
Yeah, we were driving with my dad on that bridge and he was telling you the history from the bridge. Yeah, the... Oh, finally, now I know where I am. Crazy, crazy. No, please, you were going 70 kilometers per hour. That was too crazy for you. <laughs> yeah, that was my record. I think I was at 80 kg at one point. 80 kg? 80 kilometers, you mean, yes. per hour? Oh, yeah, kilometer. Oh, no. Yeah, kilometer. Kilometers per hour. So this is like a hidden cafe that not many people know about, but it's super nice. They have amazing uh, drinks. That's a Paris theme one that we told you guys. Yeah, my mom actually found it and introduced it to us. Yeah. She introduced us to so many things here. Mm -hmm. It's like a cafe that not many tourist people know about. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. We love that. And sometime during the day when the weather is nice, we can actually sit down outside right next to in a plastic house for the farm. There actually there's a table inside too. It's super nice here. Yeah, you get a discount here. Mm-hmm. Let's start doing that. Yeah, why not? No plastic. So like, now I can walk Good, good. Ah, finally, the treatment is paying off. Yeah, you see, it's I'm more straight and I don't feel pain. Okay. <sighs> this treatment is painful but good. Before the ice melts, the ice cream. Okay, let's go over. I don't think there is ice chocolate, uh, like ice cream, chocolate ice cream inside, but there is strawberry and there is matcha ice cream. Let's see. I, I in general love strawberry. I like strawberry, blueberry, cherry. It's very mild. So that's my reward. He's counting my calories, he lets me have sometimes things. Try to. No, I don't have a choice. Like, if you want it, you have to get it. Where is Hosma? Don't lie to the audience. You see? Me. <laughs> <laughs> After he gave me all, all that talk, he <laughs> this. And before I went to 7-Eleven, do you want something? No, I don't want anything. I'm on a diet. And I'm helping the guy buy whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I cannot understand. <laughs> By the way, this, you are actually supposed to eat it in one bite. One bite? Yeah. It's not this. It's not that big. I'll try it. <laughs> got the haircut. Look at his hair. I got a haircut. I'm very handsome. Yeah, it's been a bit more than two weeks. And the night paint is gone, gone. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not saying <laughs> it, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> Hope it stays that way. Okay, so when it comes to results, the corticosteroid, when I got it first time, the local one, it helped me in a way I started walking a bit easier and I could walk a bit longer distance than before. And pretty much that was the only thing it did. I got some relief, but not enough. Um, and then when I did the, this one, the nerve injection, it actually helped me immediately start walking more straight up. I still have some hip tilting a bit, but it's 
almost not noticeable comparing to how it was before um, and I finally can sleep at night I don't want to jinx it I hope it's gonna stay like that I hope I'm not gonna need the third one but we will see when we go in a week to, to see a doctor we're gonna see how what he thinks about my progress Ta-da! Give me pop pop. <laughs> he knows what pop was. Is. is that right? <laughs> mm. Look at this. He's the sweetest. <laughs>